Hey everyone, welcome to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Scorched Earth Edition. And I thought what we would do today is go take on the first of the three caves on the island. That is kind of over by the red obelisk and that mountaintop you can see just above my head there um, in a crevice. And I will be leading you guys over there in just a minute. So I did also want to show off a little bit of this. Um, I have started doing a little bit of breeding with the parasaurs and with the raptors, and that's because I am really excited about the TLC raptors. I think they look absolutely amazing, and I really, really want to get into mutations with them. Uh, so we've started doing that. I'm starting to collect eggs. I do have an S plus hatchery over there that's running, and we are gonna make this a thing. There is a weather event coming up, um, but I don't think it's going to stop us from doing the cave. All right, cool. So I'm gonna leave all of that right where it is for now as it's running, um, and we are gonna head out for this cave. Okay, so this cave is called the Old Tunnels, and inside it we will find the artifact of the Gatekeeper. It is the easiest of the three caves on Scorched Earth, and I like to do it on a saber tooth. Um, a thyla is also a really good choice for this particular cave because there are some areas where you could fall and it's easier to get back up if you can climb, obviously. But we haven't gotten into thyla taming and breeding yet, so uh, we're going to do it with the saber tooth instead. All right. I'm going to make our way through the little area over here. Um, now there are two ways to get into the crevice. One of them is over by the red obelisk, but it's kind of blocked off. It's really only big enough for like one person to fit through, which also makes it a really easy area to, uh, to use to escape from dangerous things if you're just starting out. There's a really nice little spot there where big dinos can't follow you through, like even a saber tooth won't fit. Uh, the second option for entering this crevice is in this ravine here there is a little spot. We may have to deal with this raptor. Don't. Nope. Kill. Kill. Come on. There we go. That's okay. We're fine. I'm gonna check my armor real quick. Uh, okay, everything's still in decent shape. We should be fine for this. Um, and as you can see, I did pick up in a drop the other day these Mastercraft Desert Pants, which are absolutely amazing. They have crazy insulation, um, crazy armor, and I'm just really excited for those. So we're also going to be picking up some loot crates in this cave, and hopefully we will find other good things. I would really love to find, like, a saber tooth saddle, or more desert cloth armor pieces um, that are a little bit higher level than just the primitive that we have right now. Alright, we should be coming up on it. Yep, I can see the entrance right over here. Something caught a hold of me. Oh, it's a Perlavia. Go away. Sixty-eight. All right. Cool. I'm amazed that didn't knock me off as well. Ah, uh, it's a lightning storm. That's okay. All right. So now we are inside the crevice, and for everyone who wants to see on the map, it's kind of this area right here. Looks like there's something up here fighting. It's probably just a raptor. Oh no, it's a saber. I'm not going to get involved. I'm going to let the Morellatops do their thing. And we're just going to keep on running. We're having a little Procoptodon party over here. Man, these guys are just everywhere on Scorched Earth. Um, it's really strange after like playing on the island for so long to see so many Procoptodons just kind of floating around the whole map. Alright. So we're going to make our way over here, and then there is a ramp that goes up, and you can see one of the bridges that leads up over overhead there. Alright. Getting close now. Getting close. It probably wasn't necessary to keep you guys on cam for this whole trip, um, 
But I don't know. I think it's kind of fun to like figure out where things are at. Um, not a lot of people have done that, I think, on Scorched Earth. So uh, this cave can be a little tricky to find if you've not done it before. All right, here we are. This is the cave. Cool. Okay. So we are going to come in here and hopefully it should load up in just a second. There we go. So that the lighting is a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and pump a little bit of health into our saber tooth before we go any further. Eat some berries. All right. So over here, sometimes you can find a loot drop. Sometimes. Nope, not today. Normally there's like a loot drop sitting right here if it's uh if there is one. There are a couple of bats in the area. Is there anything down below? I'm not seeing anything. Okay. It's just a couple of bats. We can take care of those. I am a little bit worried about rabies, but um I don't think it's too big of a deal when you're on a dino. Oh, a rubble golem. Ooh. Yeah, you fall down there, buddy. What level are you? He can't really hit us, which is a very good thing. I can't see what level he is. 80. That's pretty high. Um, I'm just back up there. Okay. Can we... Apparently I can't actually use this grenade. I don't know what's happening. My grenade is not working. I am clicking and nothing is happening. I'm just kind of tossing it in my hand. That's not cool. Um, shoot, I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't feel safe dismounting, but we might we might be able to. Uh, you stay there. Can we do this now? No. All right, for some reason the grenade is bugged. Like, it is not working at all. That's really frustrating. This was like the only thing I had to defend against these guys. Okay, we may have to do just like a quick run past him. Um, I think that is possible to do. Yep, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna run through it. Um, they're pretty slow, hopefully they won't be able to hit us. Alright, I think we're okay. Okay, there is a mantis over there, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't... Right, the lightning storm. It's silly that it affects your weapons inside caves. So all that that's doing really is making it, um, making my weapon take a little more damage. It doesn't really hurt anything. Aw, oh, man. Hate Arthroplora. It's like all of my armor is broken now. Great. And none of it can be repaired here. It all has to be repaired at a smithy. Well, that's okay. We're going to keep going with just the pants. Um, we're probably going to run into more Arthroplora, and they can't really do much against the saber. Yeah, come on. There we go. Gotten rid of those guys. Luckily, this is a pretty short cave. Um, of course, things are going disastrously, but that's all right. It does happen. It does happen. Okay. You see, there is the artifact there. I haven't seen any loot crates, though, which makes me a little sad. I was hoping to get some good gear out of this cave. Sometimes they don't spawn right away on single-player games, though. Sometimes it takes time. There's also, like, no dinos here. There's some down there, but there's not a ton. That's alright. All I'm really after right now is the artifact anyway. It's getting a little dark. I made Gamma up here for you guys. It's still kind of hard to see.
Oh, we totally missed. Awesome. All right. That's not that hard of a jump to make normally. Uh, I just misjudged it a little bit. Let's see. The way back is around that way. So you can get up if you fall down here, and there's like lots of resources down here, so it's actually kind of good to jump down here sometimes if you want more stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys. No. No Arthurplera. No. I hate Arthurplera. Go away. You're the worst. Destroying all my good armor. Alright. Well, we have just a lot of stuff we don't need. I'm gonna go ahead and drop all that. Um, we have tons of chitin and hide and stuff, so none of that's important. Alright. We'll just make a little mess. Awesome! Cool, so that's it. This cave is not that long. Um, we do have our artifact now, which is awesome, and we also have our cool skin, which is a pike skin. Let's see how this looks. That looks pretty cool. Um, I think it's just like a raptor skull that's tied around the head of the pike, so it's kind of neat. Um, I don't know. I don't use pikes that much. It does take up a large amount of the screen, which is a little bit interesting. Interesting design choice. Alright, cool. So that's it. So now we're going to see if we can't make our way back. Stuff does tend to spawn in behind you in these caves, so I am just going to keep running along. Man, that is a really short cave. I think that was only like 12, 10, 12 minutes or so. Not very long. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Hey, bat. Come here. Come here. There you go. Well, that was easy. Silly bat. Hiding in the wall. Didn't want to fight. I can see why. He was weak. I do love the way that the caves on Scorched Earth look. They just, um... They're so neat with all these, like, catacombs and things that they have in here. And then, of course, they have a ridiculous amount of resources. I mean, like, all of the caves on Ark have a ridiculous amount of resources, but... I don't know. It seems like this one in particular in Scorched Earth just has even more than it should. It just looks so cool in here. I love it. Alright. Make our way back up this way. Oh! Sweet! A loot crate. Uh... This is perfect. Oh, that's a Megalania. I have not seen too many of those on here, actually. Um, I wonder if we can light it on fire. Yes, we can. We are going to run away a little. I'm a little afraid of it biting me, because I know they have like a really good chance of giving you rabies. There we go. Whoa, my mouse like flew off the screen. Okay. Cool. I have actually never seen a Megalania in these caves before. Uh, they're super rare. I think maybe we should tame one of these at some point. And now I'm paranoid because I'm going to be looking up at the roof. I don't see any more. I want to make sure this chamber is empty before I go for that loot. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. All right. So I'm going to come down here with my grappling hook. Get all the way up here. Can I not... Ooh, it's a little bit bouncy, but we're doing it. Oh, Morella Top Saddle. That is not yellow drop worthy. I'm a little mad. Um, yeah. Great. Great loot. Awesome loot. Exactly what I was looking for. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Um, we're almost out of here anyway. But 
Ah, that golem's still there. You know what? You know what? Come with me, Mantis. That's right. Follow me out. The Mantis will follow me. The golem will follow me. I'm just gonna leave that golem there. We can just run past him, pretty much. I love the way that they leap at you. It's so silly. Come on. Alright, that golem has chilled. He's not a problem anymore. Let's see if this loot crate has spawned in yet. Since the other one showed up. Nope. Okay. Darn. But yeah, you can definitely see that things have like spawned back in now that we've left, including some snails. I would love to tame some snails. Both of those are too high level. I won't be able to tame anything over level 120 though, which is unfortunate. That's okay. Cool. So that was a pretty good haul from this uh, this cave. Not too bad. Um, the loot's a little bit meh, but we did get the artifact, and the artifact is what I was after, um, after all. So I'm happy about that. And it's good to know that our saber can handle it. Ooh, gotta deload the cave here. All right, so now all that I need to do is run my way back to base, and I think I'm gonna actually build an artifact pedestal and show off the artifact. Uh, I do like the way that they look and I want to kind of decorate the workshop in the base a little bit. So what is that? Megalania toxin. Cool. I wonder what that's used for. I actually don't know. I don't think I've ever had to use that before. That's really interesting. Okay. Well, now that I know there are Megalania, we're going to have to come back and tame one at some point. Um, hopefully one that's a little bit higher level. I'll just have to keep an eye out. All right. So I will see you guys back at the base when we are all ready to show off our brand new artifact trophy. All right. See you guys in just a little bit. Okay, guys. We are back at base now, and it has not been very long forget how fast we are in that saber. All right, so we're gonna come in here. Um, as you can see, I've kind of got this hatchery set up as I was saying earlier. And so I've left the raptors breeding all through that time that we were gone. And up here, this is where I've decided to place the artifact of the gatekeeper. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I do kind of wanna keep building this workshop platform out that way so that we can eventually line this up against the wall and kind of have this area I don't know, be like a row of small storage boxes or something. I think that would look pretty good and it would be useful for storing some certain resources that we have. So I am kind of running out of room in the tiny adobe hut over here. Um, there's kind of a lot going on in this hut now. We've got all of these crafting items at the back. We've got our bed. Uh, we've got the little jerboa corner. And then we have the item collector from S Plus that I've started up just to kind of keep things going. Yeah, so I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I know it was kind of a short one, um, but I think it was a necessary one, obviously. If we're going to fight the Manticore eventually, we are definitely going to need some artifacts, and I will probably be going back and doing that cave on my own as well, um, just to kind of get more of those artifacts going and to basically just keep looking for good loot. Um, that is the closest cave to us and the easiest one to do with a dino. It's, um, there is a cave down in the south that way. For anyone who's played Scorched Earth, you know this already. You can't actually take dinos in, like you have to crawl in, and so no dinos will fit except like your Jerboa. And it's, uh, that's a tough cave to do. So we are gonna be building up a lot of ammunitions and doing that one um, later on in the series after we have also done the cave in the north up by the blue obelisk. That is, that is the next cave on the list. It's a little bit tougher, a little bit longer, but um, still not too bad. The caves on Scorched Earth really just, they're not that bad except for that one down there where you can't take dinos in. That's a rough one. Cool. So, uh, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see more content, content like this, you can subscribe. 
All right, I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.